it's hard turning, which is great, but it also does it with five microns and less. So we've got great capability on the machine. It's incredibly stable with high productivity. Uh, also easy to automate, so we have a lot of customers that have automation with it as well. Today we're here principally on behalf of MIE Solutions. Now you use MyTrack Pro, but how do you use it and what was you using before? Well, before that we had a, a fairly robust system, but it wasn't a complete end-to-end -end system. So we had some bolted on paperwork and uh, other software um, to be able to have complete control and traceability. Whereas the MIE uh, Track Pro gives us full traceability in real time, right from the beginning, from estimating and quoting, right through manufacturing to dispatch and invoicing. The cam lock um, system on the chucks is accepted by the spindle nose that's actually on the, the lathe itself. It's uh, depending on the size of the chuck, you've got a three position cam lock or you've got six position. The um, cam locks on the, on the chucks themselves are actually um, integral, so they will fit straight from box, straight onto the machine with no pre-assembly required. Well, today it's, it's an exciting time. Um, we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. Um, of Filter Mist International Limited. We have uh, coincided that with an open day and the opening of a new distribution and logistics warehouse here in Telford. And Filter Mist in the 50 years has, has grown very quickly, especially in recent times when we've acquired a lot of businesses alongside our traditional oil mist, we're now going to other clean air solution. So we're bringing the latest in cutting tools technology, great tool holders, and we're bringing all our peripherals. Plus this year we're bringing also these software solutions, so we're trying to show a, the Brandheimer as a full integrated supplier for providing the customer a full automated solution from the cutting tool until the spindle. In principle, being able to do more, do it much better with less. So less waste, more productivity, and reducing their costs. And that's a really key important factor with our manufacturing solutions. Yeah, so it's a long long shaft machine. So we've got uh, 1.8 meters between, between the spindle. Um, the head itself is very compact. In fact, it's, it's the most compact head that we've got on the market. Um, so basically what that enables you to do is the envelope between the spindles and getting the, and the head in at 90 degrees for end working. 60,000 RPM. Now, what kind of accuracies and repeatability can you achieve with this machine? This machine has, uh, normally we're talking about uh, the micrometers, but uh, this machine is talking nanometers. But one of the points here is I want to talk to you about your Y axis. Now your table is, is fixed in the Y and you'll see at the back the casting at the back there. Tell us about why you've built the machine like this. Okay, well. If you look at it closely, you can see that the, it doesn't matter how far out the y-axis comes. So when it comes out to its maximum travel, it's always supported. So it's as rigid when it's extended to its maximum as it, as it is when it's further back. You can look at a lot of other designs and the further out they come, not only do they sag, they lose rigidity. Having, having the strength of the composite parts, uh, but also the, the non-marring properties mean that we can do, uh, uh, as well as a whole bunch of work holdings, uh, we can do things like uh, CMM fixtures, welding fixtures, um, robot, uh, robot jaws, so uh, robot end effectors, end of arm tooling. Now this is the latest evolution from ISCAR in parting off technology. You've got multiple indexing stations for the insert. They've reduced vibration significantly, which has enabled them to achieve the faster feeds and speeds that are now possible. And they can even do intermittent cutting on hard materials. This is a massive evolution from ISCAR.